I might need this. Greetings. You're new in town, ain't you? Yes, I am. The name's... That's nice. Always a pleasure to meet a new citizen of Anazira. Well, actually, I'm not staying. Splendid. You'll fit right in. Where are you living? I don't really have a place. Fabulous. Used to live there myself early on. Anyhow, gotta get back to work. Come back anytime you want to ask something about the town. You can show your way out, I presume. Exciting game. Modern day fight! Take me, take me, Doc. The mouse ran out the clock. The clock struck when the mouse ran down. Hickory. Dickory. Doc. I feel much better now. I was afraid you wouldn't find the mouse in time. You're a great little kid, you know. There is no one like me. The clock should work for anyone who activates it live. If I'm right, 
this ritual will give me eternal life, but one slip up and I could join the pharaohs. <笑>母親の肩身はちゃんと持っていく。これが同化したの。それはジンだ。ジン。どんなに疲れてもそれだけは手放す。過去に戻れなくなる。え？それには過去に戻るアンカー機能が備わっている。どういうこと？ Oh man, I left this thing on again. I flicked through the good book looking for the right chapter. Aha! Revelations. Now, where is it? Got it. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Chapter 1, verse 3. One, oh, three. I entered the time suggested by the verse from the Bible, chapter 1, verse 3. Nothing. I was running out of ideas. Then a sound caught my attention. Sliding statues, ancient mechanisms. You didn't get this kind of thing back in Idaho. Behind the statue, a flight of stairs was going up. Well, here goes. Here, first bullet, the one that got him in the side. Then a shooter must have been standing about here. It's a long way from the door. This wasn't some drive-by. Our killer got pretty close to the victim before letting him have it. A little exchange of pleasantries before getting down to business. Gymnasium was presented, blah, 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 generous donation from the Vanderhoek family. Vanderhoek? That's our victim's name. Somebody didn't appreciate the generous donation. spring-loaded and it's got a keypad lock now, whoever shot our Vic must have had the code to get in or the kid opened the door for his killer looks like our Vic grabbed this to staunch the bleeding before the second bullet finished him off. Is that the phone our Vic used to call his mom? Probably. The so last call was made at 6.05, lasted 28 seconds, and ended with a bang. Emmy should be able to tell us if... Hey, what's this? Where? In the kid's mouth. It looks like... Wait a minute. Check it out. A medal? From, from the, the trophy, trophy case. case.
hungry. The time is 1.06 p.m. That possum looks hungry. That's my family. Oh, I'm sleepy. Here's part of it. I'll have the rest tomorrow night when I can get to the re-election fund. Make sure you do. This will be harder to get away with than torching that rich guy was. Boy, that Rita sure had a thing for other people's husbands. Look! Up there, it's Mike Dawson. He's been listening in on us. Dawson, still sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Just like your friend Rita. You want to end up dead like her and all her other friends? Anybody hungry? How about some filet of brain? The gray matter is particularly tasty today. Just what makes us dark worlders strong and healthy. Hey, Mike! Your shoes are bleeding! Oh, you're so gross, Mike. No wonder Rita would rather be with my husband than with you. Mike? Are you awake? How do you feel now? I know. You talked all through it. Then you heard it all? You talked quite a bit about Melissa. I take it you have reason to be angry with her husband. I'm angry at Jimmy. He killed Mr. Ramirez for having an affair with Rita. You're projecting, Mike. I think you're the one who was jealous of Rita. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just imagining all this. Good. I think we've made some real progress. Well, our time is up. Come back and see me if your headaches return.
So, how are the fish biting today, Captain? Same way they usually do. They use their jaw muscles to push their teeth together. Pardon me, do you have the time? Certainly, sir. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It says, Timekeeper. The time is now 1.12. Now that's a frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar in your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the US, a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. 
However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime, the murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous evil still lurking alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Whoa! This must be the future! I wonder what year it is! Here goes! Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! With the leading candidate of the presidency of the United States. Oh no, I didn't do that. The job is in Venice. A young woman of wealth and high birth was murdered there a week ago. Her name was Bianca Cardolo. I'd like you to go to Venice and investigate who she was and do what you just did so magnificently. See if she reminds you of any historical person. That is all. I don't investigate deaths. Hire a detective. We're not looking for her killer, only the facts of her life. A brief biography, if you will. And for you to document any connections you draw to any figure in history. Perhaps there will be none. That's acceptable as well. You get paid 20 to 30,000 for your work for the auction houses. I'll pay you 50. It should take you no more than a week. What say you, Mr. Rector? I might be interested, but first I want to know why you're keen on this particular woman, and what the point is behind these comparisons to people in history. I'm afraid any further information is classified at a high security level. I'll take the job. Excellent. I know you won't disappoint me, Mr. Rector. Speak to the guard in the lobby. He'll give you your plane tickets. And Godspeed! I very much look forward to hearing your report when you return from Venice. I'll forward the relevant information about Bianca Cardolo to your phone. Very well. Goodbye.
This will all be over soon. Then I'll finally have time for you. I, uh... We wanted to head back to the hotel. Certainly. And tonight at the gala, I'll show you around the museum, okay? And... Have you made up your mind about the cruise? Well... Well... I don't really know. Oh, come on, Mom. Who could teach us more about Egypt than the professor? Then it's settled. Uh, I didn't expect you to say that. Well, Mom, sometimes you have to take a chance. Welcome to the fire station. Help the bears get on the fire truck by playing the memory game. Just listen to my instructions, put on your fire hats, and get ready for some fun. London cabbies. Gotta love them. This is the place. Here on the right. To afford a place like this in London, you've got to be good at something. So, we clear on how we're going to do this? Yeah. We're two insurance investigators, see? We finoodle our way inside, butter Manofsky up, and then get the dirt on him, right? Finoodle? Yeah, finoodle. You remember how to finoodle, don't you, Nico? George, how could I ever forget? Good, because I suspect we're gonna need Major League finoodling to get in this one. You got it. Everything. <laughs> this pervert's giving off a real good vibe. Hey, perv. I was the one who picked her up first, so that makes her mine. Why don't you go play somewhere else? You lack delicacy. <laughs> You're the one who lacks delicacy. To go back home and then cry in your pillow. Time for fun. You are not. Yeah! Hey, why don't you get lost? Happy, <laughs> 
Het is een heel gezellig postkantoor. Groot is het niet. Maar er valt van alles te beleven voor Max en Merel. Kijk, die meneer daar slaapt. Wauw, die heeft honger. Neemt u me niet kwalijk? Wij... Nou, ja, moment. Hè. Ik heb... Ik kon zo bij u. Niks moment. We willen nu geholpen worden. Mijn god. Waar did you learn to play poker, Colonel? Starfleet Academy. This metal grate leads to the sewers of Gothos. I don't think I can fit through that. Jim, I hope you're not planning on going down into the sewers. Given Trelane's predilection for opulence, it is highly unlikely that we would achieve anything useful in the sewers. A quaint village shop, typical of early 20th century Earth. Captain, these items are not typical of what would be available in a German shop in the 20th century. I would theorize that Trelane has set this up for a reason. Could he be testing us? I've read many reports of superior intelligences testing human beings. Trelane does not qualify as superior intelligence, Mr. Ellis. He's not testing us. He's playing with us. And I'm rather tired of his games. This clock looks expensive. The clock is another of Trelane's power objects, Captain. Hi, can I help you? What do you want for those shoes? That really is a beautiful clock. You can afford it. Take it. This strikes me as something of a Potemkin village, Captain. It lacks the scope to be truly real. A creation of Trelane's, no doubt. One of his imitations of reality. Undoubtedly, Captain, there is a high probability that it will be an extremely deadly place. I didn't join Starfleet to play at being a galactic tourist. More incongruities, Captain. The layout of this town is as irrational as Trelane. Where's the hospital? Even when they heal, they butchered people. Doctor, your criticisms of this era's medical technology are illogical. They did not have the tools to perform surgery without cutting open their patients. Perhaps one day, our medical practices will seem primitive compared to the standards of a future generation. This is an old apartment building. Hello, Glingold. An ordinary house cat, Felis Catus, a common human pet. The first records of domesticated cats are from ancient Egypt, where they reduced the rat population in the grain fields and were also used as hunting animals to retrieve small birds. Spock, has anyone ever told you that ignorance is bliss? His name is Glingold, Captain Spock.
You have enough money to buy this property. Would you like to invest? inzwischen ein Mitglied der Familie. Deshalb haben wir uns entschlossen, dir ein Geschenk zu machen. Ein Flugticket nach Lima. Du kannst dort deine Tante zu ihrem 100. Geburtstag treffen. Herr Gruber wird dich begleiten. Nun geh schon und pack deine Sachen. Du sollst Herrn Gruber in seinem Antiquitätengeschäft abholen.
You Alamo? Yeah. I'm from FedUp, the Federal United Post. Here's your package. Hey, you could have broken that. You forgot to pay for postage and handling. You're lucky it's wrapped, Miss M.O. You unwrap the package. It's the makeup kit you've always wanted. Ooh. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. Cuddy thinks it's to be all end all. Installed that alarm system just to protect it. Though who in tarnation did want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. Anytime, Steve. The current time is 1340 hours. Now passing through Parm airspace, our ETA is 15, 30 hours. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen.
Skylanders of the air element are stronger. Oh, you gotta no, do no. this thing! Stop this thing you're doing! So rude! Thank you, thank you. Now let me show you something. Come right this way. Your room's right upstairs. You're in room one. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. I just remembered as I saw the closed doors of the movie theater. What is it? I hope you're not adding something new to my responsibilities. Why did you stop the weekly film screenings there? Because we couldn't get the money to buy a new player. Also, the neighbors aren't very sociable. It's hard to get them all together at the same time. I remember you had a collection of the best 35mm films. Let's set it up again. I love old technology. A friend of mine borrowed them and never gave them back. It ruined our friendship. Why don't you go to his house and ask for your films? Ah, I'm over it now. No time for old films. But if you want them so much, why don't you go yourself? Take this road straight up until you get to the square. His house is one of the first houses. It's got a blue door and there's a large sign. what they'll do if they catch me. How do I sneak past this guy? It looks like this is the only way forward. I'll have to sneak around this guard.
come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Splendid. A full kettle of scolding water. Now how can I carry this? Brainiac reference books, no doubt. Could you take another look at the appointment book? I suppose, but I can't see that it will do any good. The Baron's routine is quite established. Dance a bit more and... I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. A stack of homework, botany books, and writing materials. Thanks, but I don't think that they're gonna help me right now. From algae to zygopetalum, there's everything a botanist's heart could desire here. I will get you to safety. I promise. The dusters are controlled from a command tower at Independence Hall. Independence Hall? I'm sorry for everything. Well, I'm sorry too. Wait. You're take me with you. Nah, you're on your own. They forced me! 
You made your choice. I sure do have a lot of books. Maybe we should read some of them. Be right back. Ah! 
the diner. That's what I'm talking about. Man, That's how you win a game. Lies, That's what bro. I'm talking about. Give me some. Something. I've never ah, felt you. that type of energy in an arena, man. <laughs> hey, man, I'm listen, it's like that most games, especially during conference and postseason play. Yo, man, I'm so juiced. I cannot wait for the first game. There's only one way to pass the time. You think what I'm thinking? You can sit in chairs and lie down in beds, Avatar. Left click on the seat of the chair or couch to sit in it. Beds will work in the same manner.
This clock seems to show the correct time. good jay no can't call it so look man uh i know your contract negotiation is coming up and i just wanted to put it out there that i think you should stay i mean i've been saying it all season man we're building something nice here press i could not agree with you more all right so what do we got to do to make it happen well you know i already told my agents i want to stay you, you did know? yeah man i just let them work it out <laughs> that's what i'm talking about man but yeah. look we might have to uh we might have to take a cut a hit on the contract hey. in order to open up some more space to Makes sign some new players, but whatever it takes to win, right? Exactly. I said we put all the agents, put them in one room, let them talk about the numbers, all right? Then uh -huh. you and I, all we do is focus on basketball. We come back next season, and what do we do? Dominate. Because <sighs> yeah. that's all I want to do is focus on hoops, man. I mean, that's it. None of that business, none the numbers, of the outside all that stuff. stuff, all the noise, man. I'm so tired of all this trade talk and this and that, and let's just keep it simple, man. Hey, man, let's do that. Let's go get some chips. Some rings. I love it. Ooh, I love your attitude, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Third day running, you've called me in. I speak to Doug and Eleanor every day. And they say you've been asking a lot of questions about me. Should I be worried? Am I a suspect? Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again, if you live that long. Farewell.
It's the hotel rules. Let's see. No jelly juggling after midnight. I wouldn't want to sleep in that. Ugh, I don't think it's been washed in months. Hey, it looks cleaner already. Let's go. Billy G's Sounds of the 70s. Cool. Hey, they've been thrown away for a good reason. Just as well I have the brains and you have the looks. Yo, Mr. Pastry, how's it going? Hey, it's a pizza-faced kid. I'm looking for my friend, the professor. Have you tried the Department of Missing Persons or the Yellow Pages, the Dog Pound? Oh. Rags, wait! Where are you going, boy? After sitting for so long, he probably wants to go on a walk. That makes two of us. Yeah. Shall we get going then? Go where? After Rex. I don't want him scaring the townsfolk. Uh, of course. We're kind of his owners after all. Huh? I can get down myself, thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Hurry up! We're gonna lose sight of him! Oh, right! <gasps> hey, Beamish! What are you doing out here in the hall? Mr. Frick gave me the permission to be here. Let me see your hall pass. Can I go now, coach? Why, you little gold brickin' pile of possum puke? I oughta kick your butt for that! This ain't no country club, boy. Now get with the program, Beamish, and gimme some push-ups. Eighteen? Nineteen? Ah, oh, twenty! Can I go now, coach? Okay, but first go to the bathroom and wash your hands. They're filthy!
find her the medicine she needs. <sighs> she reminds me so much of our Mary. I'm sure they'd be good friends. If So, how may I help you? My name is Martin Holen, and I'm with the International Archaeological Organization. I need to have a permission slip validated to enter a site of historical discovery. What kind of discovery, and where is it located? Western Bohemia. That's all I can tell you. Hmm, hush hush. Psst! If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try to kick his behind. It could work. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. Ma se tutti i giocatori sono andati, il gioco è davvero finito. Good evening. At the tone, Caribbean standard time will be 2, 30, 3, and 40, 5 seconds. Beep.
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that Some drivel about Adrian in a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called? A and you didn't tell me? The old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where you going? You're not on your own time yet! Suggestion from our friend Peking Duck. My name is Wiggins. I'm a bookworm. And I live in Storyland. My name is Wiggins. It's nice to uh, meet you. Good morning, here, Mr. Wiggins. Anything you can imagine, you can do. My name Wiggins in Storyland. My name is 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 Wiggins. Would you mind answering some questions? If it weren't in my job description, then yes. But as it is, I don't seem to have much of a choice, do I? What can you tell me about the British Library? It's over near St. Pancras. The actual library, you mean? Yes, this is the British Museum reading room. You did notice the large sign reading British Museum when you entered? I did, yes. Good. Anyway, this room used to be the British Library's reading room. 
but it was moved to the St. Pancras location about seven years ago. You have access to the British Library's records, don't you? We do, yes. It's more convenient to access them here than at the library. Assuming, of course, you just want a brief glance through the periodicals and card catalog. That's exactly what I want, yes. I'd like to use one of your computers. Very well. Please be aware that they are for research purposes only. I don't want to look over and see you playing one of those... games. Games? Yes, one of those jumpy-jump, shooty-shoot, nonsensical pieces of garbage. Today's youth wasting away in front of them instead of reading. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'm just gonna do some research. You can use that computer over there, then. Thanks. I'll just be on my way. Questo è il mio studio. La parte di casa mia che preferisco. Alcuni dei miei libri. E questo cosa ci fa qui? È la mia macchina fotografica. Una forma di nostalgia. Ecco il risultato di pazienti mesi di lavoro di Pagui. 
<ride> una ragazza con un cappotto seduta su una fontana e la stessa ragazza in piedi sulla soglia di una capanna di mattoni. Questo baule contiene le mie vecchie pagelle scolastiche. Proprio ora che sono quasi riuscito a dimenticare dove ho sepolto la chiave? No, di certo! <ride> Mi piace inventare storie <ride> Aurora crede che io abbia talento E io le scrivo su questo grosso libro verde お腹が空いているんじゃないか。お。なんでドラ焼きなの?こんな美味しいもの他にあるか? <笑> あかしくめと私がお父さんたちを止める本当にそれでいいのか私が世界をあるべき姿に戻すあ、girl、私の名前はルイーズいや、どこにいるの彼女はどこにいるの You know, that rowdy group that was recently causing all the trouble in town. Oh, they must have drugged her. It all happened in the blink of an eye. The children of Etro are still up to their games, I see. Where could they take her where no one would find her? Perhaps they're hideout in the inner warren. The Order seems to think that's the case. But no one knows when, or even if, they'll take action. Why not? Her life is at stake. Everyone around here knows Louise. I don't know if you're aware of this, but she has a reputation for being the girl who cries wolf. Everyone's worried that this may just be another prank. This whole thing could be staged. They are here for too long. So many of them. They know. They know we feel. A future we have chosen to face together, human and mutant alike. San Francisco has opened its arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Today, the future begins with a gesture of trust on both sides.
Police! Now, Cadet! You've got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. The para goggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena while you track it. Ghost trails, object auras, all kinds of cool events. Now when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, you're following a cold trail. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Come on out, my friend. Calling to Banyan! Yokai Metal, do your thing! It's the year of the astounded ferret. In that case, I reckon I could do with another decade or so. Take that pee out, will you? Got any ideas about how to keep the baby quiet? Try this. Now, will you take that ruddy pee out? Sure. on a tuffet. You killed Birdman, didn't you? I am Reinhardt. Now it's your turn to die! So it was you who killed everyone? So what if I killed them? It's my mother who you should be scared of. We must obey. You must obey what she says. Stop it! It's time for your medicine. No. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. No, no medicine. It's only 250. Hey, what time is it? Holy shit! I didn't set it for 15 minutes. I set it for 1,500 hours. Don't you see? I didn't set the thing to go off in 15 minutes. It's set for 3 p.m. There's only five minutes left. Kimberly! <sighs> Wait, I...
I'm actually worried about a friend of mine. Can I come in? I guess it's all right. elevator swell going down にしとるんじゃ兄弟。くそ。
Now comes the part of filmmaking that's always fun. You've brought your edited film into the Foley studio where you're going to work with the sound designer, Mark, to add sound effects. I'm Mark Mangini, and I'm a sound designer. When it sounds like it's raining in a movie, or it sounds like you're in the middle of a tropical rainforest, Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mandana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. Reverence? Like worship? It is only a feeling. This wall drawing means nothing to me, Eli? Me neither. Although it's different from the art in the other room. How so? Outside it was more vibrant, colorful, more creative. It had passion. The art in here is just patterns. Patterns? You can see them if you know how to look for them. Interesting. I do not know what that means yet, but interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! 
笑あ,あ笑ってるどうせあと10分だあと10分あと10分で俺は助かるなぜなら俺は未来を知ってるからだこのままに及んでまだそんなこと社長さっさと始末してしまいましょう炎上10分後の未来気にならないないいだろう10分待ってやる正しい代わりに暇つぶしに付き合ってもらうコインの裏表を10回連続で当ててもらうもし外れたらその度にお前の指を切り落とす10回連続1024分の1の確率だギャンブルとしては悪くない<笑>それじゃあ始めるか。Thank、you